In today's Lightroom Skills video, I want to teach you how to add watermarks to your images using Lightroom CC on an iPad. So we're going to begin by going to the same route we would use for Lightroom Classic, which is by getting the photo ready to export in order to be able to access the watermarks. The way that we do that in Lightroom CC is we use the share button or the share icon, which is up here in the upper right hand corner, the little box with the pointy arrow up. And then we're going to choose export as. This is really important because this is the option that's going to give us the option for watermarks. Okay, we would set all of our image um, designations here, whatever we wanted to do. And then you can see we have a toggle here that lets us include watermark or not. If that toggle is turned on, it will add a little option to the menu that says customize. And we're gonna go ahead and touch that. Now we have a choice here of having one text and one graphic watermark. Unlike Lightroom Classic, you can't have a whole set of them. In other words, it won't give you a drop down menu to choose from. You're gonna have to choose from the options that are there, which is either text or graphic, and you get one graphic or one set of text. If I go to text, you can see I have my website in here. And then I have some options here. I just drug up a little bit in order to be able to see them. I can change the size. Um, I can change the opacity. I can actually take my finger and touch in the middle. See these little buttons around here, the little circles that allows me to touch and move my watermark around the screen. I can set um, the vertical offset in this case because I believe it's centered um, in the center one. That's the why you don't have horizontal. If I move it over here, I do have a horizontal one. So it's irrelevant if it's centered. Horizontal um, offset doesn't matter. But I can adjust the vertical away from where that little circle is at. I can adjust my text, my boldness, italic. I can rotate it and I can change it between black and white. So that's the basics for the text watermark. I'm going to go ahead and get the back carrot here and we're going to go to customize again and I'm going to talk to you about the graphic watermark. So this one throws for people for a little bit of a loop sometimes because they're like how do I get my graphic watermark in there? Well it's pretty simple. There's a little picture with a plus sign here right at the end of where my watermark is and you're going to need to have a um, file that is compatible. So I believe it'll take a JPEG or a PNG just like Lightroom Classic will but honestly you're going to want the PNG with the transparent background, <laughs> to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and click on the plus sign there, and then that's going to take you to where you can browse on your website. Now, if your, um, and I'll go back here to browse, if your image that your PNG image is in your camera roll, I believe you can get to that through here as well. But you can also put it in iCloud, Creative Cloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, any of other host of cloud areas or you can send it on over to using share you can send it to your iPad and then save it on your iPad in the file system which is what I did and you'll see here um, that my watermark without lines is right here and I have a pretty high quality file for this particular watermark in case I want to export a relatively large image. I'm going to go ahead and press cancel. From here you can adjust the size and again the vertical or horizontal offset and the opacity for this particular graphic. Um, and you can rotate it if you would like. Once it's chosen, you're going to use the back carrot. And then when you check the check mark in the upper right hand corner of this dialog, it's going to go ahead and process this image out. And it's going to offer you the opportunity to send that image to any of a variety of sources. If you want to airdrop it, if you want to save it to your files, if you want to put it in your camera roll, um, whatever it is that you want to do, or if you want to text it. Um, or message it to somebody, you certainly can do that as well. So it, there are a whole host of options here that you can do. It'll give you info about the image. When it gets to its destination, your watermark will be on it.
That is it for how to do watermarks in um, Adobe CC on a iPad. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, make sure you subscribe and follow us. And also check me out on Cowgirls with Cameras and KimBeerPhotography.com for more good photographer education and information. I'll see you in the next video.